what's up everybody this is Dayton from Killinois Kennels again and what you're gonna see today is Killinois Kennels show vlogs number 10 this week we're gonna be in Sedalia Missouri it's gonna be a real good show we had a lot of fun at this show it turned out to be a real good event there was a lot of people and a lot of dogs in the building so make sure you guys stay tuned if you're new to this channel don't forget to like subscribe comment and share also, go back and check out some of our other videos. We got a lot of real nice American Bully content on this channel. Go check out some of our stud videos. We just dropped some of them. We got some puppies for sale. Some puppies coming soon. So make sure you stay tuned. And thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate it. Well, we just got out here to Sedalia, Missouri. Out here for this double BRC show. Just got to the event center and uh, out here at the state fairgrounds in Missouri. And uh, about to go in here, take a little walk around, see what's going on, and uh, get this show started here soon. We usually get to the shows pretty early, so you're going to see a lot of people still setting up, still walking in, getting their dogs ready for the show. Right here to the left is the BRC crew getting everybody's dogs registered for the show. Shout outs to them. But yeah, so, you know, pretty much everybody's just getting ready for the show right now, getting their booths all set up, getting their dogs ready. We're going to do a quick walk around of the venue, let you guys get a look at the place, see how the building's mapped out and stuff. Real nice building for a little dog show in Kansas City, Missouri, for sure. I want to send a big shout out for Kevin Bernard for booking me to judge this show. I really appreciate it, man. We had a real good, real good time at this show. When you're going out to these shows, you see a lot of people. You meet a lot of new people you don't know. You see some old, familiar faces as well, and it's just an all-around good time, man. It's one of the most, you know, the bully world's one of the most diverse communities you're gonna see. You're gonna see people from all different walks of life, and uh, no matter who you are or what you're into, you're gonna find somebody at one of these shows that are into the same thing you are, and that's a promise. Like I said, this is a real big, diverse community. You're going to see people from all different walks of life. But one thing is, is everybody's out for the same thing. Out there to have a good time, see some dogs, network with some people, you know, meet some connects, meet some people they might use one of their dogs, or, you know, they might get a puppy off, stuff like that. But like I said, one thing they are going to do is they're all going to have a real good time with each other. Well, that's it for a walkthrough of the venue. It was a real nice building. Now we're going to move on to the fun show where they're going to be doing the People's Choice Awards. The People's Choice is when we bring all the dogs out into the ring. We'll call a couple out to the middle. The crowd will choose their favorite dog and cheer for them. And whatever the last dog standing wins.
Predator takes it. Now we're going to move on to the sanction show. This is a confirmation show. And right now you're going to see a couple clips of the trophies, awards, and prizes for the event. The ribbons and all that good stuff. Now we're moving on their classes. This is where the kids come out to compete. Instead of going over the dogs, we actually go over the kids and what they know and their knowledge on showing dogs. But I want to send a big shout out to all these kids that have the courage to get out there and get in that ring. I know a lot of adults that won't even get out there. So shout out to them. So like I said, in the Junior Handlers program, we don't go over the dogs, we actually go over the kids and what they know and all their knowledge on handling dogs and the dog's anatomy and stuff like that. And the kids actually get points and become champions, grand champions, and stuff like that. So if you guys are ever interested in coming out to these shows, don't hesitate to bring the kids. The kids show for free and they have a real good time doing so. So make sure you bring them out as well. There's a lot of fun for the whole family. Something we've been starting new on this channel is we've been uploading promo videos of all the upcoming shows. Make sure you go check out that upcoming shows playlist. We're going to be adding shows every week to that playlist. And there might be an event coming up in your area. You know, right now we're just giving the kids a little time to shine here. They come out to the shows, get in that ring. And, uh, you know, we like to put them on this video so they can come back and take a look at it and see what they did in the ring and stuff. This weekend, October 27th, we got two BRC Global Shows going on in the United States. We got one in Sacramento, California. It's in actually Lodi, California, that I'll be judging that event. Make sure you go check out that promo video. Also, we got another show coming up in Kansas. The same very same day, October 27th. Make sure you check out that one as well. If you're in that area, come out and enjoy the fun. Also, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to be throwing the promotional banners up of those events. And um, also in the description of the video, I'll leave the link to the videos where you can get all the information you need to get to those shows if you're interested. Now we're moving on to the best junior handler class where each kid from each class, the best ones come out to see who takes the best junior handler. Again, I want to send a huge shout out to these kids that come and participate in the junior handlers class. It takes a lot of courage to get out there and shout out to all the winners and everybody that participated. Now we're going to move on to the actual show. We're going to start off with the French Bulldogs. There was a lot of real nice French Bulldogs in the building this day and shout out to everybody that came out and supported. Now we're moving on to the best of breed for the French Bulldog. The dog that wins this will represent the French Bulldog breed in the best in show. 
Now we're going to move on to the shorty bull class. Again, there were some real nice shorty bulls in the building this day. This boy right here was real, real nice. Look at the movement on this dog. Look how well trained this guy's got this boy. Real good looking shorty bull. These two dogs are going up for best of breed shorty bull. So whatever dog wins this class will represent the shorty bull breed in the best in show at the end. Now we're moving on to the next breed, the oldie bulldog. There was a couple real nice oldie bulldogs in the building this day and whatever dog this is the best of breed for the oldie bulldog and whatever dog takes this will also represent its breed in the best in show class at the very end of the dog show. I want to send a huge shout out to the owner of this dog. This lady has broke down some barriers for the oldie bulldog in the UKC and she made it so they started recognizing other bloodlines of oldie bulldogs. Big shout out to her. She's done a lot of real good stuff with this boy here. Well, Bentley takes best of breed and will be moving on and representing the oldie bulldog in the best in show class. Now we're moving on to the American Pitbull Terrier class. This right here is going for best of breed American Pitbull Terrier. And again, the dog that wins this class will go on to represent the American Pitbull Terrier in the best in show. Now we're moving on to the American Bully. This is the American Bully Pocket class, and there was a lot of real nice American Bullies out in the building this day. Shout out to everybody that came out and supported. Make sure you stay tuned to see who takes best of breed. This was a real tough class. There was a lot of real nice dogs in that class right there. I went with the Brindle Boy in the front. That's a grand champion Bowser son. Real nice American Bully. Now we're going up for the best pocket. Both of these dogs won their classes. Now they're going up against each other to see who takes the best pocket American Bully. Make sure you stay till the end to see who takes it. These both of these dogs were real, real nice uh, representations of the breed and it could have went either way. Like I said, both of these dogs were good representations of the breed. It could have went either way, but I went with the Brindle Boy in the front, the Grand Champion Bowser son. Now we're gonna move on to the standard American Bully class. And again, there was a lot of real nice standard American Bullies in the building this day. During the confirmation show, there's several things that play a part in the dog that you should be picking in that ring. You first, you want to go over the confirmation and the structure of a dog. You want to make sure the dog has no major faults, like a bad bite, a bad tail. You want to make sure it has a good top line, nice straight fronts. 
You also want to make sure the dog has breed type. It needs to look like the dog in the class that you have the dog in. So if it's American Bully, it needs to look like an American Bully. No confusion with a Pit Bull. No confusion with an Exotic Bully. Any stuff like that. And it goes that way for each individual breed. You know what I mean? You want to see good breed type. You want to see a confirmationally good dog. You want to see some good movement. And you, all those things play a part in picking the dog. And you need to just pick the best dog that best fits that standard. And uh, that's what we do over here. So like I said, on the outside looking in, you might be like, why is he picking that dog? You know, I like that dog. But it's not that, that's not the case. It's not about going out there and picking the best dog you just look at you got to go over the whole dog check everything and all those things play a part in which dog you pick this class right here is going for the best standard american bully this dog will go on for best of breed and will be going up against the best pocket bully and the best xl so you'll have the best pocket you'll have the best standard and you'll have the best xl will all go against each other for best of breed well that's it for the best standard shout out to the winners now we're on to the best XL class these two boys won their first class now they're moving on to the best XL so whoever wins this class will go up for best of breed American Bully against the pocket and the standard. Make sure you stay tuned to see who wins that. Both of these boys were both real good representations of an XL American Bully. This boy in the front here, this red boy, he is real, real, real nice dog, man. He uh, you, he actually has real good breed type for XL, which is hard to find in the XL class a lot. I mean, this dog had a real, real nice head, real nice bone, real thick dog, not to be confused with any other breed. That is a true XL American Bully right there. Both of these monsters were real, real nice. It could have went either way. I could have picked either one of these dogs and been happy with my choice of the day, but I decided to go ahead and go with this fawn boy in the back, man. He had it all, and he'll be going up for the best of winners. These are the best dogs from all three varieties of American Bully. You got the pocket in the front, you got the standard in the middle, and you got the XL at the end. All three real nice representations of the breed. And again, this could have went either way. All three real nice representations of the breed, but I went with the Brindle Boy in the front here. This is your champion class. Right now, this dog is a grand champion. Actually just became one at this past nationals we had in Chicago not too long ago. But he was the only champion in the building this day. And he'll be moving on to go against his son for the best of breed American Bully. Now here we are for best of breed American Bully. 
we got the father and son duo here going against each other and again whoever wins this class right here will move on to the best in show representing the American bully again both real nice dogs but grand champion Bowser takes it and will be representing the American bully in best in show well here's your best in show class in front you got the French Bulldog next the shorty bull the exotic bully the American bully the oldie bulldog and the American Pit Bull Terrier in the back these are the dogs that won the best of breed for each of their breeds and now they'll all be competing against each other to see who takes best in show here we got the French Bulldog this was the best French Bulldog in the ring for me that day this boy right here was in my top three picks of the day he was a real real nice shorty bull and his owner had him on point that dog is a true show dog right there look at the movement on that dog and he, that dog is doing whatever his owner asks him to do and that's that's what you want when showing your dog you see how well this dog's moving and performing he's doing exactly what his owner wants him to do and uh, you know shout out to this guy because you can definitely see he puts the work in that's what you gotta do you gotta work with these dogs to get them to do what this dog's doing right here Here is your exotic bully. We had to clean up that mess before the show could continue. So we ended up missing out on the footage of Bowser. Bowser's a real badass boy, real great representation of an American bully and he would have been my second pick of the day. Here is the oldie bulldog, real nice oldie bulldog. And like I said, this dog right here has broke barriers down in the UKC for other oldie bulldogs. Shouts out to their owner. This lady puts in a lot of work with this dog and travels all over with them, showing them everywhere. And here's your American Pitbull Terrier. Here's your best in show awards. Again, this is your best in show class. Up front, we got the French Bulldog, the Shorty Bull, the Exotic Bully, the American Bully, the Oldie Bulldog, and the American Pit Bull Terrier. I want to send a big shout out to everybody that came out and supported this event. It was a real good show. I want to send a big shout out to Kevin Bernard and Kev Green for booking me to judge this show. There was a lot of real nice dogs. Shout out to everybody and all the winners. But I decided to go ahead and go with the oldie bulldog. He's a real, real nice bulldog. Bentley takes it and well deserved at that.
again, here's your best in show winner, the oldie bulldog, Bentley. Congratulations to his owner. You got a beautiful dog there. And then, like I said before, well-deserved win for this dog. I want to send a big shout out to everybody that watched this video. If you watch this video all the way through, leave the words Bentley in the comment section. Also, coming up this weekend, October 27th, like I said, we got a dog show in Lodi, California, near Sacramento. It's going to be going down, and I'm going to be judging that event. Also, that very same day in Kansas, we got another show going on there. All the information are on those show banners, so pause it if you're in that area and you want to go. Or look in the description of this video. I'm going to leave a link to both of the show promo videos that we dropped or you can check in our upcoming shows playlist. I want to send a big shout out to all of our supporters and subscribers. We're coming up on 10,000 subscribers and we couldn't have did it without you guys. Thanks for all your likes, all your shares, all your comments. We really, really appreciate it. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We got a lot of real nice show vlogs coming up for you guys. And thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate it.